Hello everybody, Rich here again. I'm in a retro mood today, so I'm using Windows 2000. However, the instructions that I'm about to give you will work no matter what operating system you're using, so it's all good. I'm going to show you how to place an image in a Hotmail signature on the web. Now this is going to be different from using a mail client because we have to host the image externally in order for the image to show up. Fortunately, it's not that hard to do, so let's just hop to it. First thing we need is an image. So we'll go to images.google.com and I will search for, oh, I don't know, uh, Ferrari. Now all these images are too big. We don't want to put a big image in an email signature because that is annoying. So we need to make it small. The way to do that is easy. Under any size, on the left sidebar, click exactly and use 100 by 100. Now you don't have to use 100 by 100, you could use 50 by 50, 80 by 80, 200 by 200, whatever. But 100 by 100 is a good rule of thumb to use, just a general size that uh, it's not too small, it's definitely not too big, people don't mind it, so we'll search for that. This first image will do just fine, so I will click on this one and then click full size image so I have just the image in the browser. Now we need to save this locally so we can upload it to an image sharing service which I'll show you in a moment. So I will right click and save image as, which in IE would be save picture as. And you want to save this to the desktop. If you happen to be in my documents just click desktop from the uh, big selections on the left here and then click save. Now actually before I click save note the name obviously the name of your file will be different but just know what it is so when you go to upload it you know what to look for and hit save and clear and close I will minimize this to check to make sure it's on the desktop and it is I will even double click it to open it to make sure it's the right one I picked and it is close that alright the next thing I need to do is I need to host this on a on an image sharing service the site I'm going to use is minus which is M I N dot U S. I like minus because it does not require any uh, sign up login. You just go here and start sharing. I kind of like it better than Image Shack because it doesn't have uh, ads plastered all over the place. You see nothing that's getting in your way. There's no pop ups or pop unders. Good site to use. On the top here it says to share as guest, drag your files onto this page or select. So I'm just going to click select. And it's going to pop up a window to say, okay, what file do you want? Again, if you land in my documents by mistake, uh, you can click on desktop and there's the file I want to share out. So I'll click that and click open. It will post the image, which goes by real quick because it's only a 100 by 100 image. And then under it is a link for share. So I click that. Uh, the one we want is HTML code. We're going to leave this here for the time being because we have to come back to it. So I'm going to open up a new tab here. Login to Hotmail. And sign in. Okay. That was a test I was doing before. Let me just delete that. Okay. So, uh, we click on Options on the far right, and then More Options. Now, it should look like this. Uh, if it looks like this when you click on Options, just click on Mail on the left. As long as it starts with Managing Your Account at the top here, you're good. You're in the right spot. Under the Writing Email header is Personal Email Signature, so we click on that. Now, I already had something I tested before, so I'm just going to delete that and click edit in HTML. Now for some reason it enters a break so we can click that and get rid of it. Now what we do here is click back onto the minus tab and then next to HTML code click so it highlights it. Right click and left click copy. Go back to Hotmail make sure you're in edit in HTML mode and then right click in the big box here and paste. 
and then click this menu down and go to rich text. Yay, there's our image. Now we obviously want to insert some text of our own in our signature. So the, now the easiest way to manage this that I found is to right click the image so it has uh, little boxes around it and left click cut. Now it put it into the uh, clipboard. It's not gone. We'll get it back in a second. Right now we just want to put in our text. So I will put in my name. Actually, let me hit backspace. Actually, well, let me just do this. If you see, I'm actually glad this happened. If you see uh, blue underlined text, whatever, get rid of it. Temporarily go to plain text, click OK, and then go back to rich text and you'll notice that it cleared that so now it's black like it's supposed to be. So if you see the blue underlying stuff just do a quick presto change over here and go back. So I'll put in my name and my email address and then I will style this text I will make my name in Arial uh, 12 point bold and my email address as Verdana 8 point italic and then I will color my name in disgusting orange and color my typed email address in a not so disgusting blue then press enter so the cursor is below it now all I have to do is right click and paste and it puts the image right back where it was so we're done cool click save don't forget to click save so we save alright so now I will go to inbox and create a new message and see if my signature worked and it did. So now I will send an email to myself. Test to me with new sig. Just to see if it works. Test to myself with new sig. Send. Ah, there's a spam. Junk. Anyway, there's the mail I wanted. So test to me with new sig. And it worked. Cool. Now, the uh, the final advice that I'll give in this: the only problem with hosting an image externally through Minus is that at some point the image might go away. So what I would suggest is whatever image you're going to use for your Hotmail signature, save it locally. Save it into the My Pictures folder or My Documents or wherever it is. And if it one day should disappear go right on back to minus just go to the minus home page here and then just re-upload it it's not a big deal now the likelihood of your image disappearing is very slim because it's 100 by 100 and small typically the only images that uh, sh image sharing sites like to delete the ones that take up way too much space the, the super huge ones these are obviously not huge at all these are really tiny so it should stick around for a long time but if it disappears for whatever reason have the image ready to put back just in case. And that's how you do it.